shit! Hi. This has post-game content. It's been a while since we've been here, huh? I like my suit. Anyways, post-game content. Uh, last time. We beat the game. Technically. And as well... It's post-game content. I just said that. Fuck. We also found a lot of things that we couldn't get to. Ah, uh, way back then. We're gonna go try that now. I think there was something in, in this area? What you can do... If my memory served me well, it doesn't. Okay. In my defense, it's like... Been a minute? Hmm. And I'm lost. Give me just a second. There it is. You go here, you talk to this guy. He gives you an item. A book. And then, you come here and you fight a boss monster. Entirely optional, post-game boss. Also, I have done some grinding off-screen, uh, and I end up with this. Hold on, I can level it up right now, can't I? I have a level 40 badge. And 40 is the max level, so I can just pop that off right away. Good. Now let's see what this boss is about. This is... <clears throat> oh, it's been a second since I've done Frank. I can sense a very powerful... I think I did it wrong. Give me a minute. What did Frank sound like? What sound did I give to Frank? The only reason I'm helping you is the... And it's a generic deep voice. Okay. I can sense a very powerful presence in this room. I... This sounds wrong. It's a champion monster, but it's even stronger than regular champion monsters. Be prepared. I am not prepared. Woo! We're fighting Azarak, who I assume is the Scion of End Times. Uh oh. Let's see here. Let's see how, uh, how well utility does us. Agility is always useful to have on. And I suppose we just uh, slash, as always. Oh, and also, the... Uh, Horny bat fox we have also has a special ability so bleed stacks don't just disappear. Which is very nice. And it's dead. What are the odds? Luckily it also has some minor healing capabilities. And it removes debuffs whenever it heals. Though, so the plan is still to bleed it to death with this setup. Honestly, the defense and then slowly kill it with the slot with the uh, frost slimes is probably the best way to go about things. But I haven't looked up, like, 
what the grand master strategies are for this game. So I can't tell you exactly how you should play, optimally. In fact, I can't anything. I mean, it seems to be working okay so far. Still so much damage, I have to focus on healing and just attack with, uh, fucking cat. So my fox can't debuff. Uh-oh. Cleansing, cleansing claim would be nice. If I could actually pull it off right now. But staying alive is slightly more important. I, but either, either way, I do think we're technically winning. I mean, we got a lot of bleed stacks on it. Which is the entire idea of this setup. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh shit, that's really not good. Oh, cat's gonna die again. I will never forget you. Except for whenever I forget you. Still got 36 stacks of bleed on him, so we're doing okay in that regard. Ooh, that's cold. Huh. My fox is squishy. Apparently. I think we're good on health right now, so we can actually... Burn. Good. We're getting rid of a few more of his buffs. Including... Oh, he's still, he's still healing. Shit. I think at the, this point, everyone just steals buffs and then just tries to stack debuffs. But I'm not sure what the meta strat is for this. Ah! Healer's down. It's fine, we can just pop it right back up. Like this. See? I can do a uh, healing wave. And effectively full heal the whole party. And overheal. Which applies to shield. And Puss is going to create almost every time. I forget what his exact chance is. It's like nearly 90. If you look at the dates in between this video and the last one I did of this game. We'll see that it's been a while since I've played. We have a fair whack of debuffs on us. Let's, uh... Shit. Well. Getting rid of one is useful. Look at those bleed stacks. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we, we have, uh... I think we're doing pretty alright in that regard. No bleed stacking. Shit. Can I revive my kitty? Who's good at flat healing, but not so good at actually removing debuffs. But it's fine, because my puss is here. Get fucked, bitch. Man, that was terrible. See? Look at that. Three stars out of five. 
It's like a sixty percent plus five orb out of it, though. I think I can get an egg for that. Huh. Well, let's see if the uh, ex alchemist has anything to say about that. Actually, the alchemists are, like, good guys now, except for the final bad guy who's in prison. For some reason. Yes, I did. Wait a minute. I actually have a mask now for this. You took care of that other act, didn't you? Good job. Thanks to you, I don't have to worry about that demon coming after me ever again. Take this reward. <laughs> if you're trying to become Keeper Master, I have another hint for you. A possible champion monster. Did you perhaps come across a strange room in the mystical workshop with a giant cock? I mean, clock. It's not an ordinary clock. It harbors a hidden portal to another world. Based on my experiments, the veil of our world weakens when the hour hand is very close to 11 o'clock and when the minute hand is at 5 minutes. Let me write that down. Therefore, the veil should break if you set the time for five minutes past eleven o'clock. You might very well get attacked by another powerful, otherworldly monster if you do that. Good luck. I don't need luck. I need more porn of this game. There's like eleven pictures on the internet, and that's not nearly enough. I bet you just commissioned someone. Also, while I was exploring, I did find one here, in the sunny place. I'm not there yet. Give me a second. My suit looks amazing, though. Oh, also, I'm gonna need my new totally not waifu. What's up? It's purple. Uh, some of these monsters uh, do kind of look like uh, totally OC, do not steal when they're in their dark shifted forms. Oh, wait. There's something down there, wasn't there? That I never... That's right, you need levitate and I have the monster for that shit. I'm not sure what the monster is that is over here. Fuck. Oh, neat. We got another egg. What are the odds? We need this thing, because this thing's special ability is... Secret vision. So it can materialize invisible platforms. Such as those ones. Respect to a different cat. To a fox. And then there's this whole area here. And then there's a Malboro from the Final Fantasy series. This thing is just gonna be buffs and debuffs the whole damn way. 
Okay. We'll get into fighting that next time. After we open this reward box. God damn it, I already have one of those. I'll light shift it. Until then. Toodaloo. Darlings. Man, it's been a while since I've done all that shit.